and good evening, lady and gentlemen. I know both of you and thank you both for serving and for offering yourself for continued service because it, it, it is important. Um, at Volusia Tax Reform, um, I think you, you know who we are, but I wanted to reiterate that we're focused on our county, helping our county create a positive, positive economic development environment. We noticed when we began our organization back in 2006 that we were one of the highest tax counties in the state of Florida. We looked across the bridge in Seminole County and we see Corporate Headquarters USA lined up and we see that they have about half the tax rate that we do. That's probably because they have the corporations there that are helping reduce the burden on the individual residents. And so, you know, this, this, this was what made us look into why are we set up the way we are, why are we not getting corporate interest to locate here and provide the jobs. And when we really drilled down into it, we looked at the tax rates, it's in the numbers. It's in the numbers first. If you were a corporate CEO in New Jersey trying to consider different areas to locate your company, you would probably at least start with the state of Florida's website and look where there's an environment with low taxes. So that's where we started and that's where we still are. And we talk with candidates, we hear candidates talking all the time about wanting to right this wrong. We consider it a wrong. We consider it setting us ourselves up for failure. And we hear about folks that want to represent the public interest and the people's interest. And within days of getting elected, they seem to turn their backs on the public. Right now you're here representing the public. The public's behind you. Within days of getting elected, it seems like you get in bed with the manager. And the manager dictates your agenda, and you become a rubber stamp. And when I say you, I'm talking about the generic elected official. That's our county manager, right? The county yeah, manager. But it's, he, since he's a city official, right, right, sorry. you know, he's, he's seen it with the city. Um, so what can you say, what can you do to assure us that you are going to do your own homework, at least look into things on your own and not just take what the city man or city county manager or the staff tells you, and that you're gonna stay representing <coughs> the people's interest. We have thousands of county employees that represent the government interest. We only have seven people to represent the public interest. So Please tell us what you'll do to ensure that you will insist upon accountability from the manager to your own homework. Ms. Cusack. Thank, thank you, Mari and Penny. And you and I go way back. Yes. I was on the task force when you were the person that was in charge of downtown Deland. Uh, so uh, I, I know you and you know me. I, I, I want you to know that I feel that I am accountable to the citizens. And do I question things? You bet I do. Do I do my homework about issues that impact us? When you look at our tax base, our tax base is not the highest as it relates to what we have, the general revenue, what we have control of. But we have a lot of things on our tax that we pay taxes on. It's not generated or controlled by the seven million council. So I will always look for loopholes. I will always listen to people. I have an open door policy. And if you can tell me things that would impact and make a difference as far as the tax base is concerned, I'm there. And I don't work for Deneen or the manager. He works for us. So when I have questions and concerns, I always try my very best to make informed decisions about government. Thank you. Check my record. Thank you very much. Mr. Barnaby. Thank you, Maureen. Uh, <clears throat> I'm pleased to say that <clears throat> I have a very strong voting record since being the city commissioner for Deltona and listening tonight to some of the issues here in this city of Oak Hill, concerns about water and sewer and the infrastructure that's needed to build a city to bring jobs I was pleased to be a part of the voting 
uh, that brought the new sewage treatment plant that's being built right now, currently under construction on State Road 415, that will be the game changer for Deltona's infrastructure. In my district, District 2, the largest district in Deltona, <coughs> right on the I-4 corridor on Howland Boulevard where we built a new movie theater, uh, right now we have site selectors from around the country and it's being published in the papers with the Volusia Echo of a two million square feet business industrial park. That is economic <coughs> development that Delta has never seen before. I am a mover and a shaker. I get things done. I was a division manager with the Nestle Corporation based in Vivi, Switzerland for four years. I was a property manager for 10 years with the British government. I have the experience commensurate for this position of county council council member at large. I can assure everyone in this room, I will do a professional job that will make the people of Volusia extremely proud. I came to America for such a time as this to make Volusia the glittering gem that it should be. And I'll be happy for Joyce to pass the baton onto <laughs> Webster Park. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Um, time has not come. I, I'd like to ask you again Just about Mr. Barnaby, what can you do to ensure or assure the public that you're going to do your own homework and within days of getting elected not get into the pocket of the county manager? Well, I did my homework as it relates to the education of our children here in Volusia County. I was the city commissioner who actually moved the motion at Deltona City Hall to extend the half a penny sales tax. That is a revenue stream that is already on all of our property tax bills. It's not a tax increase, it's an extension so that we can continue to build schools, and have the technology needed in the schools to educate our children and also to bring jobs to our, our entire construction industry. I'm proud to be a mentor to children here in Volusia County Schools as a former PTA president for Trinity Christian Academy, a former board member of the Reading Edge Academy. I acknowledge that I'm a father of two wonderful children. One was at the Naval Academy, one just became an architect who's working here in Daytona Beach right now designing hotels here in Volusia County. So I'm not just someone that talks about it. I walk the talk. I'm an ordained minister. I believe that it's important to be a person that has actions behind words. And that's what Webster Barnaby carries to the table. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Moving on to another um, non-controversial topic. Um, wondering about your position, both of you, on the county's ongoing participation in SunRail. We'll start with Mr. Barnaby. Well, in seven years' time, SunRail's bill will come right in the lap of Volusia County residents. It is a program and a project where the train has already left the station. You can't go back and reverse it. You've got to look at the situation and say, well, how do we pay for subway? How do we make it a viable uh, operation for our infrastructure? I believe it's part of the esoteric things that site selectors are looking at when they're thinking about lo relocating large corporations to an area. Do we have the proper transportation? Do we have these infrastructures such as a, 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 a fast rail or a light rail or a rail infrastructure? Part of the problems we have, Maureen, is that we don't have enough stations. Uh, and we don't have a, a station right now in on the west side of the county, on the east side of the county. So and, you would um, be f favorable towards that? I would be fa in favor of, 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 of working towards, absolutely, because it has to be viable uh, in terms of going from the major airports, such as Daytona International, and uh, the people that travel from Daytona to uh, Orange and Seminole County and all the way down to the tourist areas of, of Disney. We have got to fix that. It's already there, so we've got to fix it. If we if we dither and talk about it and, and, and um and are about it, and seven years later the bill comes due and we don't have enough writers on it and the thing's losing money, we're hemorrhaging, we're bleeding, we're all going to be complaining that somehow where we're going to find the money to pay for this thing. Now is the time to fix it. We have just got to address it. 
Okay, thank you very much. Ms. Cusack? Maureen, I was saying the Florida legislature, when we implemented the bill to bring SunRail to Central Florida, I'm not a new kid on the block. I've been around the circuit a time or two. Last week, we had 4,575 persons that rode SunRail. The week before, 4,390. Now, it is a means of transportation. We need to get folk to Orange County and Osceola, all the way down to Pondagora, and we need to bring them all the way over to the east side. We have, our next step is to get them to Delane, get that station built in Delane. And Pontiana is the area south that we have to go. Now, how will we get from Deland to Daytona? Is it going to be a rail, or what will be the means of transportation to bring public transportation that's accessible to the citizens to get them from the east, from the west side to the east side? That is a, that's what you call long-range planning. That's what the TPO does. <coughs> the Transportation Planning Organization. As a member of that, and as a citizen who grew up in the land, I know the importance of affordable public transportation. Voltran is another thing that we have to make sure we maintain Voltran. Their folk in our communities have no other means of transportation but Voltran. We have to have a loop to loop as it relates to transportation as we do to, as it relates to trails. So I want you to know I too am a mother of two five daughters and the grandmother of three grandchildren and the wife for 48 years of my husband Charles Cusack before he passed away four years ago. So I know what it means to stick with something and I know what it means to raise a family in Volusia County and that work and play and live here continuously. I want to continue to be that vessel that provides change to the citizens of Volusia County and connect us with all of Central Florida. We need to have a Disney in Volusia County, but it takes long range planning and it takes a visionary person that can do that. You can't be uh, just stuck in the rut. You got to be thinking out of the box and always looking forward for bigger and better things that will increase the livelihood of all of the citizens in every city and in cooperated area in Volusia County. That's what I'm about, and that's what I will do. Thank you. I guess uh, what we'd like to know, though, too, is how do we balance all the provision of you know, there's all these great ideas for all these good services to provide to our citizens. But how do we pay for it? How do we do this on the back of a already overburdened taxpayer in Volusia County who has a low income? So a little bit more addressing on that, if you would, Ms. Cusack and yes. then Mr. Barnaby. Yes, I think that when you provide job opportunities for people, then you are talking about increasing the availability of funds for those individuals. I do not believe that we ought to balance the back our tax burden on the least of these. However, I think everyone should pay their fair share. Now, how, how does that happen? That happens when we provide an infrastructure that provides job opportunities so that the high wage paying jobs they will, if they stay here, they will build homes here. And you will increase your tax base. And so therefore you can see a decrease in the taxes. You can continue to have uh, things that will be good for families to do. The arts, that would be, all of those things help to create an atmosphere that you can have good jobs because people want to come first for work. They also want to make sure that you have in place those things that will be 
fun things for families. That's why I'm waiting for the day that Sunrail will come on weekends when I can go to uh, shopping. Thank you. Mr. Barnaby, did you want to follow up on that? I can thank you, Maureen. Um, if I heard Commissioner, I mean, County Councilwoman Cusack correctly, it sounds like she's advocating for some type of tax increase on people who earn a certain uh, level of income as opposed to people who don't make um, sufficient funds. Um, no, I said. That everyone must pay their fair share. I've That's heard, what that says. I've heard that argument about fair share, and um, I think it's I think it's 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 it's, it's rather ironic um, when I look at the current tax code, the way it's constituted. Um, I believe that we as Americans overall are faced with uh, a very very confiscatory tax code that's rather draconian and old, and uh, quite. It needs revamping. I think we need tax reform. You are for the tax reform, Maureen, and I'm in favor of tax reform, but I'm certainly not in favor of uh, placing a tax burden on the citizens and the residents of Volusia County. I think that those in the legislature that originally uh, planned the light rail, as Joyce so enthusiastically announced while she was there, uh, should have had the foresight, in my opinion, of setting up the mechanism to pay for this project that many call a boondock. La Sun Rail to me is a boondock. As I said, the train is not the station, so we have to deal with it. And in dealing with it, I think it's important that the county finds a way to partner with large businesses. For example, the vast majority of the money that comes into Orange County that's been so successful is from Universal Studios and Walt Disney World. I would propose as a county council at large representative to work with those entities at Anheuser-Busch, at Walt Disney World, to work with those corporate entities in pr promoting a public and private partnership in building the necessary missing rail link that will link the entire Volusia County with Orange, Seminole, and Osceola County so that we can have the tourists come all the way from OIA, all the way to Cape Canaveral, all the way to Daytona Beach, and pay for this thing. The tourists that come to Florida every single year, they're prepared to pay because I know in Europe, I know what the value is of the pound is to the dollar. I understand the exchange of pounds sterling. It's much stronger than the dollar. I understand international currency exchanges. I understand that we cannot that the residents of Volusia can expect us to pay for it. And I'm not advocating a bed tax increase to pay for this. What I'm advocating is, is that we work with the private industries. Daytona Speedway is a very successful corporation. And I believe they need to have more skin in the game. We, the taxpayers of Volusia County, have put everything in the game to promote the Volusia County Speedway. I want to see the Speedway successful. But if, if they want to, to survive, as an as a, as a entity, they must recognize that they must play a part in the transportation needs of Volusia County, which includes roads, rail, buses. These large corporations must recognize that, that they have to buy in totally to the success of Volusia County. Thank you. Thank you. Just to piggyback, if you would. Economic development is that too the tax burden as it relates to, to transportation comes from federal, state, and local. So it's collaboration is the key. And you have to collaborate with all of these entities to make sure, and businesses. So you, it's, it's no one shoe for all. We must do it together. And, and as soon as you realize that, the better off. It's collaboration that will be the key to our success. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna move on to a few other questions. We'll catch up with you later. Uh, we're gonna to try to cover as much ground and then get to the audience. Um, got a little bit of show and tell. I, I just wanna point out quickly that it's a known fact without dispute that Volusia County is ranked third of the 67 counties in Florida in taxes, property taxes, third highest. Overall. Overall, third highest. It generates the third lowest 
in terms of translation of services in Volusia County. So in other words, we're paying through the nose, not getting much back in return. However, the public sector jobs are pretty well, are pretty good, and that's not a negative reflection on either Eunice Kisak or Eunice Bonnie, it's a fact. Over the last couple decades, uh, we have people making salaries. I believe if you include their deferred compensation, we have at least three or four millionaires in public uh, sector jobs, i.e. Uh, engineering care, hospital, Halifax, medical center, Jeff Fiesel, either at or over a million dollars. Um, and there are others, not to pick on him. Um, but